Edinburgh's Chris Honeycutt didn't finish his collegiate career the way he wanted, but the senior wrestler leaves as one of the program's best ever, and now he can turn his focus to making his real dreams come true. It's time to honor him as our Bob Ferrando, Ford Lincoln Athlete of the Week. Sometimes it's good to be a little crazy. Edinburgh senior wrestler Chris Honeycutt certainly wouldn't deny that. Honeycutt finished his collegiate career as a two-time All-American, capturing silver at 197 pounds at the Division I National Wrestling Championships in St. Louis. It would have been better to win, obviously, but there's always things to take away from losing. Um, the biggest thing I probably learned in the tournament was uh, I waited until the last year to do the impeccable, to do the to do everything right. Uh, I feel like as a freshman, I was more or less like, I mean, as a kid doing, you know, just being stupid. And as years went on, I got better and better. And then finally this senior year, I, I, did, everything, I did everything right. Honeycutt's season ended with a loss to Cornell's Cam Simes in the national final, but you can't overlook his 40 and two record this year. Good enough to earn Honeycutt the Eastern Wrestling League's Wrestler of the Year honors. Honeycutt leaves Edinburgh with 130 wins, seventh all time putting him ahead Josh Koscheck, and right up there with the likes of Sean O'Day, Gregor Gillespie, and Jared King. Well, you just named state the national champion, so I guess I don't fit in that list. But uh, I do fit I, I, somewhere in there in the sense of being one of the better wrestlers that came through Edinburgh. Or at least I like to believe that was. But um, Edinburgh's a, gro a growing program. I'm sure that um, in the next couple years, I'm not the only guy that that's going to be contending for the. the the championship. As for his future, Honeycutt wants to get involved in mixed martial arts. In fact, says he almost skipped wrestling in college to get in the ring. But watching Koscheck succeed in going from the mat to the ring gives Honeycutt the desire to follow in those footsteps. What he's doing now is what I wanted it to do years ago. And he came down to this road and and I, I chose to continue the road down through and finish out wrestling. But um, now that it's over, I'm very excited to, to get into the ring and or start training really, and not really just jump into the ring. I, I won't obviously want to train for that. I uh, I won't compete unless I'm going to compete to be the best. I don't want to be average, uh, and that's just the way sports really are. I mean, especially fighting. I mean, you can't just go in there and say I want to be one of the best fighters because then you're accepting that you're going to get punched in the face until you get knocked out by a couple guys, but not all of them. And you, I mean, that just doesn't work that way. Honeycutt says after the school year, he plans to move to Fresno, California to train with Koscheck in hopes of getting his shot in MMA. Congratulations, Chris Honeycutt, our Bob Ferrando, Ford Lincoln, Athlete of the Week. Just a unique, very interesting. scary, He's a tough guy. guy. He's a tough guy, there's no doubt about but it. But very nice to talk to. And yeah, we saw Josh yeah. Koscheck do it and get on the reality show and find his way, and Chris is hoping to follow that path. Best of luck to him. There you Absolutely. go. Yeah, best.